Hi, my name is Mitzi Bino. I'm from the United States. I'm a retired physical chemist and social worker psychotherapist, currently advocating in the areas of social justice and group work, social work, group work education. I'm a spouse and a mother. My input is on climate change readiness, and certainly Mexico is experiencing a challenge right today as we speak. Also, it's on establishing sustainability in marine and terrestrial ecosystem development. We travel together on this blue planet in the fastness of space. Our continued physical existence depends on this view of our interdependence and how dedicated we are to meeting the following three goals. Goal 13, take urgent action to combat climate change and its impact. Goal 14, conserve and sustainably use the ocean, seas, and marine resources for sustainable development. And shorten goal 15, protect, restore, and promote sustainable use of terrestrial ecosystems. Two movies, one factual and one fictional, and one song come to mind. Apollo 13, which chronicled how the historical three astronauts survived an explosion in space through collaboration and creativity. And The Martian, about an astronaut presumed dead after a severe storm on Mars, who must now sustain himself there for years to come with only his resources and knowledge. And the song, Ishe Olua, the translation of which is, God's loving work in, is permanent and cannot be undone. Realizing the severity of Apollo 13, Jim Lovell had a pit of the stomach feeling. Houston, we have a problem. That feeling and the image of the blue marble and those on it motivated him and now has to sustainably motivate us to global, collaborative, and creative efforts to use all physical and human resources wisely for our sustainable survival for eons to come. Apollo 13 tells us we've been here before and can survive if we recognize the problem, accept it, react immediately to sustain life even while working on the future, take inventory, conserve, restore, recycle, manage and protect resources, don't pollute beyond what we can clean up, think outside the box, use science, listen to one another involve everyone. All of these urge us to look forward to the future with hope. Our planet and its biodiverse inhabitants will survive the storms using Goal 13 and solve the underlying problems sustainably using Goals 14 and 15. The song Ishe Olua was a global call to action in 2012 and 2013 by One Earth, One Voice. You can Google it. I invite you to sing it. Ishe Olua, Ole Bate O. Ishe Olua, Ole Bate O. Ole Bate O. Ole Bate O. Ishe Olua. For goal 13, strengthen adaptive capacity to weather disasters, refine disaster plans, integrate the plans, educate using social media and global events, raise $100 billion annually over the next five years to address developing countries' needs, include everyone. Increase ocean health. Reduce acidification, come to mind in Goal 14. Conserve 10% of the ecosystem. Restore, manage, and protect. Ensure abundant sea life. Increase contributions of biodiversity. Use science. Do research. Transfer technology using Intergovernmental Oceanographic Commission guidance. Prevent and reduce pollution from land activity. Increase economic benefits to small islands with sustainable fisheries, aquaculture, and tourism. For Goal 15, fully address forests. 
conserve, restore, and sustain consistent with international agreements. Reforest and, and forest globally. Restore degraded land. Halt extinction of species and control invasive species. Fully address the mountain ecosystems and desertification. Fairly share access and benefits of genetic resources. Increase financial resources, incentives, and support for sustainable efforts and livelihood. Greatest challenge I see, those who continue to insist that climate change does not exist, who also control a country's purse strings. When the March of Dimes face this type of dynamic, they approach the ordinary people to raise funds directly. Ishe Olua. Houston, we've lost contact. Thank you.